The A-10 Warthog ground attack jet has been taking out enemy tanks, vehicles, and personnel since its development in the 1970s. With over 2,400 airstrikes and 9,000 direct enemy kills to its name, the A-10 Warthog shocks the world with new upgrades that make it even more deadly than ever before. The A-10 Warthog, better known as the Warthog, is one of the most feared weapons in the world. While some may question its effectiveness on modern battlefields, one thing is certain, nobody wants to get hit by one of these things. Now, the U.S. Air Force and Boeing have teamed up to improve this beast of an airplane with upgraded avionics, enhanced armor, and new capabilities that make it even more deadly than it already was. Let's take a closer look at what this thing can do. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel for more updates and like our videos. The A-10 was first introduced to combat during Operation Desert Storm in 1991 and has been widely used ever since. The U.S. military found it so useful that other countries were using variants of it for their own militaries, which saved money because they wouldn't need to develop their own jet fighter from scratch. However, there are rumors that Boeing wants out of making planes altogether, forcing officials to find a company that can take over production as well as maintenance on these aircraft. This could mean big things for other plane manufacturers around the world and cause an increase in sales at companies like Northrop Grumman or Lockheed Martin Aerospace Systems. Now let's discuss what changed in it. The A-10 was originally created as a heavy bomber to take on Soviet tanks and other high-value ground targets while being defended by friendly fighter jets. The idea was to have a ground attack target aircraft that could fly low and slow enough to evade enemy fire so that they could kill enemy troops without endangering friendly forces on either side, i.e. friendlies don't get shot and friendly bombers don't get shot at. However, this changed when Iraq invaded Kuwait in August 1990. Fighter jets weren't doing their job because they didn't have any ground targets left after destroying all of Iraq's defenses during Operation Desert Storm. Designed in 1972 by the Fairchild Republic and created by General Dynamics GAU, now Lockheed Martin, the A-10 was originally called the Thunderbolt II to honor World War II's P-47 Thunderbolt, a fast, maneuverable ground-attack aircraft that served as a tank killer during World War II. However, the nickname Warthog was coined not because of its shape, but because of how ugly it was and how hardy and aggressive its pilots were towards enemy ground troops and tanks. While technically an assault plane designed for close air support, these days, A-10 pilots are often required to do much more than that, including target recognition training on each continent, yes, every single continent, so they can be prepared to target whatever may need targeting wherever they go. What effect will these changes have on the battlefield? Let's break down these changes individually. The M789 howitzer now has a greater range, allowing it to take out enemies from farther away. In addition, the Hydra rockets can now fire 64 rockets and destroy tanks and other armored vehicles before they have time to react. It also has greater accuracy than its predecessor. Though that may seem like a small upgrade on paper, it will make all the difference when trying to take out ground targets while flying at high speeds. This plane was already among one of the deadliest and most powerful air forces known to man. It comes with heavy ordnance, so an upgrade will make it even deadlier against ground troops and potential threats in neighboring nations who may be considering taking a stab at war against us. This airplane can dominate any airspace they enter as soon as they get there. They will have no chance at all against our upgraded aircraft that are ready for battle right now. These newer models will hold their own without fail when going up against an enemy force wanting to test their strength against America. These changes will have a monumental effect on any battlefield where these upgraded units are deployed. In addition to being equipped with better armor and weaponry, these upgraded aircraft will also be able to fly much faster than their predecessors and hit targets at greater distances away from ground forces. This makes them an essential part of our armed forces arsenal and could lead to greater victories in future conflicts. It should be noted that these planes are largely used for close air support. They are not suitable for dogfights due to low maneuverability and limited armaments, but they can drop bombs on a target while keeping away from enemy fire by use of their powerful engines that allow it to make sharp turns when needed. Why did they change this weapon? The Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System was designed to give warfighters a greater capacity to engage and destroy threat vehicles from farther ranges than ever before. The APKWS Program Office brought together different government and industry organizations, including the Program Executive Office for Ammunition, Naval Air Systems Command, Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division, Alliant Tech Systems Operations, 
Aerojet Rocketdyne, and its sister company Pratt & Whitney Military Engines to develop a solution that provides pilots with precise accuracy over a variety of targets at extended ranges. The APKWS uses rocket motor propulsion, which allows for a significant engagement range beyond traditional unguided 70mm rockets, up to 3 kilometers. There are many reasons why we felt we needed to upgrade from an aircraft that has been used for over 20 years, Air Force Major General Scott Pleas told Fox News in December 2017. In fact, there were about 70 updates we did to just make sure that warfighting remains relevant for a next-generation air dominance weapon system. For example, since 1996, when Lockheed first flew the plane, advances have been made to gun technology, particularly guidance systems and target acquisition methods, while radar technology has advanced considerably as well. When combined with precision-guided bombs and other munitions from third parties, drones can provide better information about a target before a human decides if they need to launch an attack or not. How did they test these changes? How did they know what improvements to make? They used a pretty unique approach. The engineers flew over 2,000 missions on actual battlefields and recorded data about each flight, including where they fired their missiles and what happened afterward. With all that information in hand, they could see how different systems performed under real-world conditions and then use that data to make improvements. That kind of feedback loop can enormously impact any organization, even ours. Learn more by reading our next post on digital transformation. To test these changes, we had a group of volunteers from ISIS charge at us on a full-scale replica of Fallujah. With our new gun sight and reduced wing weight, we could easily blow them to smithereens. It was hard not to laugh as their bodies flew like rag dolls. This effect was enhanced by each shot knocking them backward. The force created by each shot was so great that every single individual tested turned around and ran right back toward us before being knocked over by an explosion and dying immediately due to blunt trauma to their head caused by an explosive they were carrying themselves that detonated at point-blank range upon impact. A-10 to Ukraine The U.S. has agreed to arm its allies in Ukraine with state-of-the-art weaponry against pro-Russian separatist groups and Russian forces, including powerful 50 caliber rifles and rocket launchers that can be fired from up to five miles away. Ukraine also promised an advanced missile shield by President Obama after Russia annexed Crimea earlier this year. The missiles will be retrofitted onto existing vehicles rather than delivered from storage facilities across Europe, including Slovakia, Germany, Hungary, and Romania. The Super Tucano According to expert fighter pilot Colonel John R. Boyd, there are a few simple but important rules that make all planes effective, like they have great maneuverability, an accurate and rapid-fire weapon, good armor that protects you, and have a lot of ammunition to allow you to fight long enough to accomplish your objective. The Brazilian company Embraer has tried to put these principles into practice by releasing its Super Tucano, super meaning upgraded. It includes better fire control radar and targeting systems, as well as electronic countermeasure systems, all essential for facing off against enemy aircraft. In short, it can take on other military jets and ground targets efficiently and quickly. That's it for today's video. We'll be back with another video, so please keep watching.